I remember how you told me I can trust you completely So why am I doubting When you prove that you'd fight for me Most of us will say we became familiar with you in 2020 you with the single Fire. Yeah. But you've been at this longer than 2020. Yeah. 2020, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. If you're in this with me, I won't be afraid. You know, when I started music in my youth group, um, I came from a very small town of about 1,200 people. And uh, worship was just this language I felt God gave me as a, as a young person. Um, to just get it out. You're with me. Did the singer-songwriter thing. Uh, did a, I had a six-year stint playing in bars and clubs with my rock bands. Then kind of shifted into more of like a folk Americana. You did a couple albums like that. And this whole time, I was a worship leader. You know, so we'd, we'd play like one in the morning sets at the bar. And again, just trying to be who God called me to be in that scenario, and then go lead worship be at the church for seven in the morning. And uh, I knew in that season, while it wasn't like this, you know, successful season, it was the grind, but it was the grind for my spirit and my soul of God revealing, these are my people. Wherever you are, these are my people all looking for me. voice always been so rock yeah I love it I yeah love it. Like, it's it's it always naturally come that it's way. always been forced it's always been a little rough around the edges and um, that's just our roots like my dad was a songwriter and singer growing up and this folk rock thing is just kind of uh, at the core of our family This will be your first ever award? As a nominee, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, pretty wild. You know, a couple of years ago, we weren't even on the radar. And to, to just be, you know, have a seat at the table, it's pretty honoring. It's pretty humbling. And uh, we're, we're going to be here celebrating our peers. Carry on, weary traveler. Nominated for Best New Artist and also for short form video of the year yeah. for Weary Traveler. Yeah. Tell me about the song and the inspiration mm. behind this video. Well, I mean, the song was written at the height of the pandemic. We didn't know it was the height, right? But it was like uh, we had just kind of reached that that peak. And uh, again, what's it was like, where do we land as believers? Where do we, you know, Jesus, his heart for us is available 24-7. And uh, the song was inspired by, you know, uh, Jesus saying, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. I think that was the, you know, our, our little time out that God gave us for, for the pandemic. It's like, hey guys, just remember, I'm right here, come to me. And uh, it, it was a moment that we, we couldn't deny. And so um, for me as an individual, uh, being on the road, my wife at home with our four kids, uh, our youngest with a chronic illness, it was my wife that, that really was the inspiration for me. She was the weary traveler. Um, I think a lot of mothers feel that way. The, the, the weight of this world just hits them differently. You won't be weary long. You won't be weary long. So we, we actually traveled to Alaska to, to shoot this video. And we had these amazing actors, uh, a father and his adopted son in real life, uh, play, the, play the characters and the symbolism there, you know, uh, climbing these mountains in Alaska. The weather was so cold, um, but I think it really conveyed the heart of the song. Gonna make it home someday soon, we're gonna make it home. There's another song I'd like to get sort of the story behind, no matter what. You know, this, this song, you know, we started with fires. We walked through this season with our little girl, the weary traveler. We, again, encountered the next chapter. Just, just me being on the road, my, my family, this overarching pandemic we're walking through. 
Uh, no matter what is a song where we kind of land on what are we going to tell our hearts despite our circumstances. And so as believers, as uh, a married couple, as parents of four kids, we're going to lead our hearts with the truth that no matter what comes our way, even when we don't feel like I see God moving or I feel like the world you know, looks like it's just heading in, a, in a, such a worse direction, I'm going to stand on this truth that God is faithful and that His faithfulness, His goodness, His mercy is just as good today as it was yesterday. So I can trust in that. I can trust in that. So I stand on that truth that no matter what, God will affect me. No matter what, God